What tools do you need starting off your woodworking journey? Hi everyone, my name is Greg and I'm going to show you exactly what tools you need to start off your woodworking journey. Let's go! If you're planning to start woodworking or if you started already, this video is definitely going to help you and guide you in the right direction to buy the correct tools to start your woodworking journey. Now all the hand tools and machinery I'm going to show you, I'm using on a regular basis. If not, every single time I walk into my workshop, I'm not specifically going to talk brands, but if you want my suggestions and if you have a strong budget, I do recommend buying DeVault, Makita, Stanley or Hilti. Now before we even start with our hand tools, as you've seen in my videos before, I've got certain tools permanently on me and this is my usual process when I walk into my workshop. I'm putting on my tool belt, I'm getting my pencil ready, I'm getting my tape measure, invest in a good quality pair of gloves and remember your eye protection. Now as a woodworker, you're going to be fastening pieces of wood together. You have to have this tool in your workshop. Now this is the first hand tool I recommend, getting a speed square. This is one of the tools I'm literally using every single time I walk into my workshop. And just to give you a good idea of how many squares and levels I have, check this out. I have a big square, I have a smaller square, I have a adjustable square, I have the smallest level. I have a medium level, I have a big level, I have a bigger level, I have the biggest level. Now moving on to the second hand tool I strongly recommend. Get yourself a few variety of clamps. Now this is also one of the items I use every single time I walk into my shop. Get yourself small clamps, medium clamps, large clamps and super large clamps. When you're gluing two pieces of wood together, clamps is definitely the tool you're going to need to use for the process. Moving on to the next tool. This one is quite small, but definitely worth mentioning. Now, when you're screwing two pieces of wood together, you need to get a good quality set of countersink bits. This will make the head of your screw sit nice and flush with your wood. The next item I'm going to show you is also something I use a lot in my shop. I strongly recommend investing in a good quality drill bit set. With all different shapes and sizes, this is definitely going to help you with your woodworking projects. Now the next item is not something every woodworker has in his shop. This is something I also strongly recommend getting a wooden mallet or a wooden hammer. Do not use a steel hammer to tap your wood in place. This is going to damage your project. That's why you need to use a wooden mallet. The next item wasn't on my list, but it's something I'm going to mention that's helping me with my projects. And this is by planning your projects. You can either use a pen and paper, I used for years and lately I invested in a drawing board. This is definitely going to help you with planning and make your wooden projects run smooth. Now we're moving on to power tools. Now the first tool is something I'm absolutely in love with and this is my cordless drill machine. I'm using my cordless drill even when I'm showering. This thing goes with me everywhere. I'm so in love with this machine, that's why I've got two. This is an absolute must for every woodworker. Now every woodworker needs to sand his piece of art. The next tool I'm recommending and something that's making my life much easier. That's investing in an orbital sander or a belt sander. Now these tools are definitely going to help you making your life easier with your wooden projects. Now, every woodworker needs to cut his wood to size. There's a variety of tools and machines you can use for this. I'm going to show you the one you can invest if you're on a tight budget. And I'm also going to show you the tools you can buy if budget is not an option for you. Option one, when you have a lot of cuts on your wooden project, you can ask your local wood supplier to cut most of the wood for you already to size. Option two, investing in a hand saw. This is going to take you much longer, but it will get the job done. Option three, investing in a circular saw. Every woodworker 
needs to have one of these in his shop. There's a ton of videos showing you how to use a circular saw, how to modify your circular saw in a table saw, and how to modify your circular saw to a miter saw. This is genuinely a fun tool to use and something you definitely need to have in your workshop. Option four, this is for the woodworker that hasn't got a budget. Investing in a miter saw. This tool I'm using every single time I walk into my workshop and the amount of time this tool saved me is incredible. Option five, now this is a machine a beginner woodworker do not need and that's a table saw. You can definitely ask your local wood supplier to cut your larger pieces of wood to size. But if budget is no option, you can invest in a table saw. When I started my wooden career, there was absolutely no one that gave me this information I just gave you. This is definitely going to help you kicking off your wooden career or your wooden hobby. If you have any questions or recommendations, please leave a comment down below. And before you go, make sure you are subscribed to my channel, hit the notification button so you don't miss out on any future projects or videos I'm posting. Cheers for now.